how we cooked a homemade curry using butternut scotch here we have some finely chopped onions here chopped coriander couple of bay leaves and we have some cardamom here some chopped green chilies couple of cinnamon bark there cinnamon, cinnamon there and we have the the chicken pieces here right so we're gonna go over to the to the, the cooker now in the we will start to show you how we do a butternut scotch with chicken right let's go over to the to the cooker here She's going to start. There we go. She's putting some veggie oil there. Here we are, we're just going to top some finely chopped garlic and ginger here. There we go, she's putting this into it. There we are. Let's just cut cinnamon going in there. Bay leaf and the cardamom in. Just bring in the onion, the chopped onions, there we go. Now, it's about two tablespoons of salt. We'll simmer it for a few minutes till the ingredients servants, then we'll add the other ingredients.
Right, back to the video again. We've cooked this um, mixture of chopped up onion and everything for about five to six minutes. Now we're going to top the the spice. Now she's putting one teaspoon of haldi, which is turmeric. Now another <coughs> tablespoon of garam masala going in there. Garam masala mix up all the spices, the hot spices. Yeah. All these spices are also available on the large, any supermarket, Asian supermarket, you can have them. Now a tablespoon of, sorry, a teaspoon of zira powder, the cumin, cumin powder. Right, two table, two teaspoon. One teaspoon of curry powder. One teaspoon of mix curry powder all right let's give it a, she's giving a good mix We'll wait for a few minutes so the spice will burn. You need to make sure the spice is well cooked. Normally if you don't cook the spice well, you still retain the, the raw taste of the spice. Now she's going to add the, the chicken in now. Now this is a boiler chicken we're using, so it's going to take a long time to cook, yeah. It's going to take more than half an hour to cook the chicken. If you're using the soft chicken, obviously it's going to take it slightly less of time, yeah. this for about half an hour and then we'll come back to the next procedure adding the other ingredients in. Put the lid in and we'll leave it for half an hour. Hello everyone back to our cooking and we've cooked the chicken for well over half an hour. Now as you can see the chicken and the spices just melted away, nice and spicy sauce there and the Mrs. is going to add the butternut squash now. There we are. And she will stir it, give it a good, good, really good mix.
we cook this for about another 10 to 15 minutes after adding the butter butternut squash yeah blending all the, the spices together right and we'll leave on the lid for another 10 to 15 minutes cooking and then that will be ready in the next stage we will show you the final product I will run the final stage of our uh, butter squash chicken curry. There we are. This is the final stage, and my wife is going to top some coriander. And top some coriander, and now we'll mix the coriander in. You can see the butternut squash has melted and is ready for serving. Now she's adding the, the green chilies in there, that will give you the kick green chilies there, hopefully give you the extra kick into the curry and here we are our butternut scotch curry is ready, now we'll cool it down and serve Love you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you, and thank once again for thank you so much for all of your comments and your suggestions. Keep them coming, and please log on to my website www.indianrestaurantcooking.com. One word. Thank you so much for your lovely comments which is very encouraging for me to carry on doing so more and we will hopefully show you even more home cooking in in near future thank you